Hey, this is Josh with North Strand Community Church. We're looking at the Behringer X32. Um, guys, when you get this board, you are going to want to go on Behringer's website. It's uh, Behringer.com. Um, and when you get over there, you look for the little X32. They usually have like a big old picture of it right there on the main page. Um, let's see, we'll pull it up real fast for you guys. Um, when you do that, click on Big Banner. Scroll down into where it says Downloads. And go ahead and download the two firmware updates. Oh, there's a new one. Look at that. September 4th. I haven't seen that one. There was, um, actually, when I did it earlier, I had an, a 1.06 and a 1.07. Um, they say what you do is basically just stick the stick into the X32, then turn it on. So have it off, put the stick in, turn it on. When it does that, there's a boot sequence that happens. Um, and actually, I'll show you guys that since I have the 08 version now. Um, I had 06 and 07 on my USB drive, but the X32 only saw the 106, and I knew that because when I went to my global settings off of setup, go to global, go over to config, and right at the very top where it says firmware, I had a 1.06, so I just popped my stick in, got rid of the 106, put it in there with only the 107 in the root menu, it booted it up and loaded it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to hang out with you guys to do this now, but I'm going to take that 108. Download on now my stick, stick it in there, update this. I would say since it's a new board, I would go back and check about once every week or so, right in the very beginning, the first few months, because they're probably going to keep continue to update things that are going on. Um, oh, there's a FX redraw issues. There's some stuff actually on here that I'm reading now that um, I've been messing with that hasn't been working uh, exactly the way that I wanted it to. Okay, cool. All right, so do that. Get your firmware updated when you do this board. All right, it'll take away some of those little idiosyncrasies that you might be finding if you have not done that. So do that first. Okay, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Bye. Hey guys, this is Josh here. Um, for some of you that may just be starting out trying to figure out how this all works, when you download the X32 firmware, you're going to have to unzip it. Go ahead and unzip it open that folder, take that update, drag it into your USB drive, get rid of any other updates that you got in there, get rid of this one as soon as it's done uploading, drag that down, just throw that away somewhere, then go ahead and get your um, USB safely out of your computer. Some of you guys, this might you might know this, so you don't even watch the rest of the video, but for those of you that are just starting out and never done anything like this before, stick it in there, flip the switch, and when you do that, there's going to be a prompt screen that comes up here, and that's what it's going to look like. It's talking says checking integrity. It'll talk about the USB thing. <clears throat> After about a minute or two, it will uh, update the firmware. Um, actually, showing it right in there, it says uh, 101.08 update has the date and time and everything right now checking integrity so then it loads in and then you're up to date and like I said before once that's done and in you can go to your um, your setup and go into uh, that second one to the right that I was just on just rewind earlier and make sure that the firmware update on the left hand side says 1.08 and you're good to go alright guys that's how to do it that's firmware update for dummies alright guys so if you got any questions, hopefully you don't, let me know. If not, now you're ready to rock and roll and you're all current with your X32. It's building up right now. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys. This is very professionally done, but hey, you know, not all of us are professional, so this sometimes is a little bit easier just talking to someone that's just doing it along with y'all. Global, go to config, boom, zoom in, 108. So we're good. That's it. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.